Hello everybody, welcome to the next NASCAR news episode. Today we're going to be reviewing the uh, race from Michigan this afternoon. So Kyle Larson gets his third career win. He's probably the best this season along with Truex and Bush. So, I mean, obviously these guys are obviously the best. I mean, we see Truex win at least two stages just about every race now. And then you see Kyle Larson usually come up and win a stage. And then a couple of races for both of those guys, Truex and Larson. Um... Both of them are now tied with the wins, I think. Now, one thing I'd like to say that's very important that a guy named Double E Dude on YouTube pointed out, and I don't know why I'm kind of calling his name. If anything, he would have to call mine. He's a lot bigger than me, so most people that watch this probably already know him. But Double E Dude, I think that's his uh, YouTube name. He mentioned that we might get over 16 different winners, and I think that's very possible because we have all the Toyota and, and Joe Gibbs racing teams that haven't won. That's four right there. We have nine so far, so nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I hope we already make it 13 with only three spots left. And then, you know, if we have another upset win or a rain short, we haven't even had a rain shortened race yet. So that could be put it up to 15. Then, I don't know, we've already had a couple of upset wins, but let's say somebody like. Uh, Kevin Harvick, I mean, he hasn't won, so that would already make it 16 just there. We could still have a lot more different winners than that. Obviously, Clint Boyer could get a win. That would be 17 wins. We still have some other drivers that we're used to winning that haven't. Chase Elliott could get a win. That would bump it up to 18. Then Eric Jones could get a win. That would bump it up to 19. So we got a lot of we got a big problem here. It's never happened. We've never had more than 16 winners since this Chase playoff started. So, I mean, it's, it's going to be a big deal. Uh, so, next week we're going to Sonoma for the road course race. Now, I've been doing this all the way up till So, I have two more weeks of doing this, which is next week in the Coke 600. For the military, I'm going to pick a driver to win next week. So, this is for the military. Thank you for your service. Next week, uh, I'm going to pick Kevin Harvick to win his first race of the season. I know... I just I I, I think that's going to be really the one to beat because I mean, you know how good he is at road course races. I believe he won. He almost won Sonoma a couple of years ago. I believe it was 2014 or 15 where he ran out of gas in the last lap and lost the lead. So I think he's going to get the win next week at Sonoma. That's the first road course race of the season of two, which next year will be three. So uh, that'll be very interesting as well. And I can tell you right now, Danica Patrick takes the hardest hits. Ever. Every time I see Danica Patrick in, uh, involved in any kind of crash, she's always going up to the end. She's always going out to the infield, busting to the wall. She, she's she's taken some hard hits this season. Not to mention last week at Poconos getting booed. Everybody, I think most people have seen that video by now. That was that was kind of ridiculous. Uh, you know, honestly, I think fan, I mean, you're going to get booed. Look at how many Kyle, boos Kyle Busch gets and Brad Keselowski gets and Joey Logano gets. and How many boos do you think these guys get? I mean, yeah. How many think you think Jeff Gordon got, Richard Petty, Jimmy Johnson, Lee Petty, Dale Earnhardt? Everybody got booed. So that's, that's kind of crazy. But, you know, I guess that's how it is. So, anyway, um... After Sonoma, we're going to Daytona for the start of NBC's coverage. So, Fox has not done that good this year. And I'm not just saying that, but Fox has really not done as good as we used to see. Yeah, they had high expectations for NASCAR because they've done so good in the past playing NASCAR. But it's almost like it's, it's just not it's, not. it's not like it used to be. Something's, something's off. It's like, I don't know what's going on. The commentators just are going off facts, not what's really happening. And then we have no more recaps anymore. So, I mean, if you miss the first part of the race, maybe you'll get one recap, but that's all you're getting. Rain fill. They just go down playing continuous coverage. So Fox really isn't doing as good as they used to be. I don't know. NASCAR's really changing here and there. Views are going down. We need to find a way to get this back up. I mean, I'm trying to spread it as much as I can, but I mean, I can't do but so much. I'm a YouTuber with 10 subscribers. I mean, that's not really spreading the word, but... NASCAR's Brian France just really needs to step up and do something about it. I just feel like he's not stepping up enough. He's changing the rules and all that, but that's not getting anybody to watch it. There was no commercials about the new rules change or, or anything like that. We need to get a race playing on Disney Channel or something. We need to get a race playing on that. I don't know. We need to get a race playing on some children's channel once or twice a year just to give them that. Just let them see it. But uh, anyway, uh, I guess that's it for this episode of NASCAR News. If you're not first, you're last.